What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwit and I am back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And before I go any further, I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Make sure that you do this. Accelerated clock needs to be turned on for this video. But what today I'm going to be doing is teaching you guys how to win solo challenges extremely quickly here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Now, if you're like me and you're trying to build up your team without spending a ton of money, this is really the thing that you want to do. You want to be able to win solo challenges as as quickly and as easily as humanly possible. And that's really what I'm going to be focused on today. So that accelerated clock is one of the things that we need to make sure that we do. The video that you're going to be watching today is me doing a solo challenge against the Carolina Panthers. Now this is a preseason solo challenge and this is completely uncut from the beginning of when I click OK to start the game till the very, very end where I press yes to, to quit the game. And you're going to see how quickly I can get through this thing just by doing a few simple steps. Now, if you follow my steps to a T, you might actually be able to do it quicker than I can. And, you know, the computer might also assist you with the types of plays that they end up running. But what we're really going to be focused on today is chewing as much of the clock as we can when we have the ball. And you're actually going to see that I do something that uh, a lot of people don't really think about. There you see me diving at the ground. Now, most people would be trying to gain as many yards as they can on the first opening kickoff, not me. What I'm more focused on is making sure that I run out clock. So look at the bottom. You see where it says tempo L1? I'm, I'm going through that and I'm actually clicking on chew clock. So you're gonna see after this very first run, watch what happens. Now this is actually assisted by the uh, accelerated clock as well, but watch how much clock is gonna tick off here between when I, Put that play down so we've got what a minute 47 and it shot down to about a minute 21 and look at the clock we've got four seconds before i'm getting a false or a delay of game now i break out into the open here and i actually dive at the ground again because i want to run out as much clock as i can i probably could have gained a huge gain there but i decided not to i want to run out the clock like i said and now the play that I'm running is really quite irrelevant. What I need to do basically is pick a play that is going to allow me to get a first down one out of every four times. And I need to run the ball. Running the ball is key for this. Now, as you've seen what I've ran three plays and I'm already down to the end of the first quarter. That's how easily you can get this thing done if you do it right. Now I'm gonna get tackled here in the backfield and they're gonna celebrate. And it is actually going to be a third and seven. Now watch this because I actually have a pretty big fail here. And I end up having to go for it on fourth down, unfortunately, <laughs> because I get tackled there. I believe, who is that? Uh, yeah, Greg Hardy, I think that was that made that tackle. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Whoever it was, he made the tackle. And so I end up having to go for it on fourth down here. So like I said, you need to make sure that you are running a play or a series of plays that you're very confident can pick up the first down for you. And as you see me here messing around, I really shouldn't have been doing that. Um, I, I really need to make sure that I know where my play is in the playbook. But you're going to see here that I pretty easily picked this up. I've got Chris Johnson. Again, dive at the ground. Now the computer there, they actually called a timeout because they wanted to get the ball back before the end of the half. So that's why there was a minute 52 there. But again, I'm gonna continue to chew the clock and chew the clock and chew the clock here. And really what I'm trying to do is just get into field goal range. That's really what the goal is here. I need to stay in bounds though, because I do not want them to even touch the football in this first half. So I'm gonna continue to run and run and run. And the, the play that I'm running, of course, if you guys watched my Madden 25 video on this, is outside zone. And outside zone, from what I can tell, is still a very effective play if the defense is set up correctly. But in this game, the linebackers are amazing in pursuit. They do not mess around for the most part. Even here on Rookie, sometimes they'll make plays like you saw before where they're tackling me time and time again. Now, I got down there into field goal range. I really could have been anywhere inside, like, what, the 35 or so to kick this. But I'm going to kick it with two seconds left on the clock, boot it through. And you see there, we go up three to nothing at halftime. They never touched the ball. The entire first half, the computer never touched the ball. That's our goal. The side of the field, or the, the half where we end up getting the ball first, our goal is to run out the entire clock. We do not want the computer to touch the ball. And the reason for that is because the computer, when they touch the ball, they're gonna be trying to pass. 
and passing takes a lot longer, especially if they throw incompletions. So we do not want them to have the ball. We want to, to control the clock. We want to make sure that we're doing the chew clock thing and just making sure that the clock continues to run and continues to run so that we're able to get out of this thing as quickly as possible. Now with my kicker, I know that he is probably going to kick it fairly deep. So typically I actually want them to return that. Um, that, that was a mistake of mine. You kind of, it, you want to try, if you're really trying to get through it as quickly as possible, you kind of want to kick it toward the front of the end zone so that they actually return it and run out a few seconds. That just gives you like an extra little bonus of uh, a few seconds run off the clock, but it's not that big of a deal. We just need to make sure that they are uh, not going to pick up first down. So on defense, for the most part, what I'm actually running is a lot of zone coverage. And the reason for it is because I want them to think that I, I'm set up to stop the pass. I want them to run the ball or I want them to run these little short slants and things like that that are going to pick up short yardage, but not enough to pick up first downs. So the computer, they do not really run out the clock as much as you or I would, but they're still, you know, with these short passes where he's two for two for six yards, I'm perfectly fine with that because now he has to pick up four here and hopefully I can make the stop. As you're going to see here, I am actually going to be able to pick up the stop. Sorry for the spoiler, but no big deal anyway. Uh, it's not like this game is actually important. It's a solo challenge. So I get the sack here, and that is going to run out a little bit more clock as well. Again, if they throw incompletions, that's not good. If we can get an interception, that would be amazing because then we can take the ball and run it out like we did before. But since we were not able to get an interception, that's fine. We're just going to take the ball on this punt return. And again, I'm going to run here. And I actually thought I was going to get tackled here, but then I ended up diving at the ground anyway. So uh, that was perfectly fine. Now, we're, as you can see here, we're already in the fourth quarter because the computer pretty much themselves will run out a bunch of the clock as long as they're getting tackled. So they ran out an entire quarter just because of the accelerated clock. So we're going to continue here with the outside zone. And keep in mind, all we need to do is win this game by any points at all. So we kicked that field goal in the first half, and that is going to be more than fine so long as we do not lose the football here on a fumble or, you know, somehow get uh, an interception or something like that. So the computer is going to use up all their timeouts here because it's the fourth quarter. They have to get the ball back. So again, we're just going to try and run out the clock. We need to pick up a first down, though. If we have the ball in the fourth quarter and we're only up one score at the start of the fourth quarter, they are going to use all three of their timeouts, which means that, yes, we do need to pick up one first down in the fourth quarter. And if we pick up that one, fourth, or that one first down, we are going to get out of this game with a win. So as you're going to see here, I noticed that they've got the block or the defense set up. So I just moved Santonio San Holmes over there to run into a guy. Then again, I dive at the ground. So that is pretty much going to be it. That is the, the dagger right there. They were not able to recover because that is their third timeout. So a minute 46 left on the clock. I can actually run three plays. And with about 40 seconds uh, getting uh, taken off the clock each time, that is going to be enough for me to step out of this game with a victory. All I need to do is go in and kneel the ball so that we do not fumble because that's extremely important, obviously, to try and get out of this with a win. We need to make sure that we win to, to get out of the solo challenge. But as you can see here, they're not able to stop the clock. We've got that chew clock on still, and it is just tr knocking down that clock every single play. They can't get out of the game. Luke Keekley's pissed off. Mike Vick's looking like a beast on my side, laughing his ass off at them as we're running out the rest of this clock. One more kneel, and that is pretty much going to do it here. And every time, by the way, when you get to the front of the line, when you're doing the kneel, mash that X button to get your guys to the line a little bit faster so that you can even knock off a few extra seconds. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. We got out of here in about nine minutes, not too shabby. We can actually increase that a little bit if we are a little bit smarter with the ball and uh, press those buttons a little bit quicker. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or anything like that. And if you're new to the channel, make sure also that you press that subscribe button. That is how we grow this channel. I will have plenty of Madden content, tips, tricks, pack openings, gameplays, pink slips, everything like that. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.